Hey there, purple people. You want to watch a dragon breathe fire? Well, stick around to the end. That's right. We're going to be reviewing a Rakagor. Purple gang 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 style, people. I'm going to do my best to contain my excitement, purple people, because I am really excited to be reviewing a Rakagor. So let's get started. His biography states, The ancient dragons of mythos are legendary creatures that are revered and even worshipped in some circles. Over the centuries, there have been countless sub-races and offshoots of these ancient beasts, with the Dragoseer being the most renowned. Like their dragon cousins, these mystical beings have close ties to otherworldly energies which often steer these towering warriors toward magical practices. Like many of his noble brethren before him, the valiant champion Rakagor has pledged his fiery sword to the convocation of Basilia in hopes of eradicating the threat of Poxus. All right, let's go ahead and get into his accessories. He's got this giant sword, which, uh, yeah, you guessed it, purple. That's right, a purple hilt and just an amazing detailed inlay and battle damage on the blade. As if that's not cool enough, we got a translucent purple flame that can go in the mouth or on the sword. And he comes with three sets of hands. That's right, three. We've got a fist hand, a weapon holding hand, and a nose picking, back scratching, face clawing hand. And of course, at his waist, he's got that amazing belt. Look at that lovely patina. It's also on his shoulder pauldrons. Chest armor with the detailed leather inlay on the uh, buckles. And a gray loincloth to tie it all together. Yes, this is a well-dressed dragon, sir, ladies and gentlemen. And what's not to love about him? I mean, look at, look at that face. Look at that face. That's a face that everybody's going to love, right? And, you know, just the detail, the, the beautiful colors in the back. Did, did I mention it's purple, people? It's purple. And that leads us to his articulation. Uh, while he may be a huge beast of a dragon seer, uh, a blue beast of a dragon seer at that, with some purple details. Yeah, got to keep on coming back to that. But look, he moves, y'all. No problem hitting the T-post. Legs get the, you know improved articulation in the hips and bending that we've seen, you know, ever since the uh, four horsemen went in there and retooled the, uh, the waist on these big beasts. And yeah, dude's got a tail. He has got a tail back there. Y'all, uh, beautiful, uh, inlay and detail and design going in there. The tail moves, it swings, it's purple. Yes, that's right. I told you guys, I was excited about this one. He's just a, a beautiful figure. Um, I mean, Beautiful, that big, chonky, chonky. I mailed one out today, y'all, and just putting him in the box with, with a letter, uh, over two pounds. Um, so, you know, he's going coming in there at least at a pound and a half, right? Just a big old boy and, you know, articulated jaw. Yeah, I mean, he's, hey, how you doing? He's just going to wave at you. And uh, now that we've gone over that, let's get into some size comparisons. I can't believe that I waited so long to uh, bust out the SH figure arts. Destroyer God and my personal favorite, Beerus. And yeah, I mean, it, it, it goes to say that the dragon's going to tower over. Whoa, 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 Rakagor. I do not recommend you petting the Destroyer God. We know that's not going to end well. You may be bigger than him, but he is a Destroyer God. And next up, we've got the Figma Link. Yeah, no big surprise there that Rakagor, again, is going to completely tower over him. But hey, you know, he's one of the arguably the most popular and greatest video game character of all time. Yeah, don't at me and don't fight me. That's just my personal feelings. But yeah, Arachagor Towers over him. So let's give it another shot with the Mezco Destro. Yeah, he can grin all he wants, but uh, Arachagor is definitely towering over this guy. Yeah, we, we just can't we just can't find somebody to match up with him just yet. But hey, you know, don't give up hope. You never know what we got in store on these reviews because we're doing it purple style, right? It doesn't have to always make sense. And yeah, Destro, <laughs> you know, you flex on them all you want. Sorry, not going to happen. Arachagor is just going to look down at you and, and contemplate uh, what that chrome head is going to feel like in his mouth. I, I could imagine it's going to be like chewing aluminum foil, right? Yeah, that's not something we really want to do. But hey, maybe, maybe those wrist rockets will come in handy. Maybe he'll pull out his nine and I don't know. Will it even pierce uh, Dragon Seer's flesh? I'm, I'm going to guess it won't. And another size comparison. Yeah, that's right. We busted out Tharnog. Um, 
He's brute scale. He's a big old boy. Um, he's almost as big as a racagore if we uh, factor in the, the pauldrons. Uh, you're going to get those out of his face. He's not going to enjoy that. Uh, maybe he'll chew on it. Dogs like to chew on antlers for teething. I wonder if dragon seers like to chew on uh, moose antlers to you know, keep their uh, pearly whites pearly and sharp and, and ready to go into battle and chew and gnash and, and whatever it is they do with it. But yeah, looking at them side by side, it, it's there's not going to be a whole lot of difference there. The uh, the pauldrons definitely uh, help them out. But uh, yeah, uh, Arachagor, you are still winning the size comparisons today, my friend. But hey, it's all about you. So why shouldn't you, right? So let's give it one more shot. Oh, Okay, so we have a beautiful mouse wizard right here with a purple hat painted by none other than our friend Jesse Arnold. And look at that beautiful little uni. That's right, it's the Dungeons and Dragons uni that has been dipped in purple because uh, that's pretty much one of the only three paints I own, right? And you know, I can't, I just gotta go back to him. I can't help it, y'all. Look at that. Purple you game, do yeah, not purple. poke the dragon seer. It is not gonna go well for you. And I guess the mousey thinks he's just gonna run up the tail and I don't know, do some type of magic. Or or maybe they're just gonna become friends. I don't know. They're gonna go out and get a sandwich, uh, maybe a tomato pie. Shout out to Anthony House Hill. You never know what's uh, what's in store when you got all these magical creatures running around mythos. And uh, I know we talked about spitting hot purple fire, so here we go, boy. Check it out, check it out. Charles Swearingen hooked it up. Purple Gang the Gang, baby. Accessories reach out to him. Uh, this is the Purple Gang Gang exclusive, y'all. Uh, of gang. course, it's purple and blue, and purple. it just lights up. It lights up. It looks amazing. You know, the light against his flesh. It's just great. And, you know, I like a happy ending. So, oh, Beerus gave him a heart. A heart supplied to me by Charles Swearingen. Thank you for that. Wasn't expecting it. Made me happy. You know, bringing out those wholesome purple vibes. So we got us a happy ending with uh, Beerus and, and uh, Arachagor just deciding to become friends. They're besties now, y'all. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, and final thoughts. I mean, obviously, it's no big surprise to anybody who knows the Purple Gang Gang. I absolutely love this dragon. I mean, it's a dragon, y'all, and, he, and he's got a lot of purple going on and a lot of personality. And hey, he made friends with Beerus, so you know he's he's aces in my book. Uh, definitely want to grab this one. Get it on your shelves. Uh, grab it from your favorite retailers because I can tell you this. It will end up being one of those grill figures. Between the armor and just the personality of it, just a great, great buy. And now this is the part where you lean in close to your speaker so you can learn how to get some free toys, y'all. And while I got your attention here, folks, let me ask you this. Uh, I know you're watching a toy review, so obviously you like toys, right? What about free toys? Well, hey, if you have not already liked and subscribed to the official Purple Gang Gang YouTube channel, please do so. And tune in every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for our live stream for your chance to win some of these free toys. Purple Gang Gang.